Hey there, and welcome back to my YouTube channel. <laughs> um, my name is Hannah, and I'm really happy you're here. Uh, it has been a while since I last made a video and uploaded it. Um, but, well, with everything happening in the world and with university not really being accommodating, I basically had no choice but to take a break of um, making YouTube videos and I had to kind of focus on myself more but um, it's over now, the semester for now but um, but the health issues remain so I hope that I can make videos more frequently now again at least until the semester starts again um, so I've kind of thought that I would make a little update video on my island and show you around before I start with not remaking the island but I really want to make some bigger changes so I thought it would be a fun video to like do a catch up or something like an update before I change a lot of the scenery. I also wanted to say thank you so much for a thousand subscribers it made my day really when I found out um, I wanted to make like a video that day but I couldn't again because of health reasons um, but really thank you so much I really appreciate it and um, to those who uh, subscribe since my latest video and now welcome <laughs> and to those who stuck around and always supported me thank you very much and if you're completely new here welcome and I'll be so happy if you've stuck around <laughs> my friend sent me a letter uh, so the main changes I guess that I made are the flowers I wanted to go for a more colorful theme I planted most of these during fall and I just thought that the flowers would look very pretty in the fall so now I have all these colorful flowers contrasting with the white snow and the entire grayness of winter. But I actually think it's kind of cute, so um, I'm going to keep them. And um, I want to change the aesthetic of my island, so I want to go for a dark fairy core theme. I've experimented a little with pastel fairy core, but... Um, I just like the, the saturated colors a lot more and then do some and then have kind of like a, a lot of fruit trees that was the idea for now I'm also going to invite some um, some more villagers I think Eric is new and Maple maybe but yeah Maple is I think going to leave again Because she just didn't grow on me and pecan did neither. Uh, I think I'm going to get rid of this area here and maybe even get rid of the tent. It just, I think it's kind of boring and I think what would be really cute is to have sort of an open space here in front of the mar like in front of the town hall that's kind of a market so with every season I can change it um, because I don't I can't change my entire island and redecorate it with every season. I noticed that this year that I just couldn't manage to do that. So for winter, for example, I would build an ice rink or for Christmas, a Christmas market. And for spring, a flower field or a strawberry field for summer or something like that. I thought that would be a really cute idea to add a seasonal touch to your island when you don't have a lot of time to play. Um, yeah. <gasps> oh no. Well, um, now I've lost. No, I think I wasn't here yet. Um, I also planted some more trees. I want to have more of a foresty. Uh, vibe to the island like this dark fairy forest I didn't have to pronounce it like that <laughs> I don't know why I did um, 
gonna remove this. It was cute for fall, but it's it's no longer cute. Um, I love the way the camellias look. They're my favorite bushes. I planted so many of them, and I'm, I was so excited when they first started to bloom. Um, I'm going to keep this. I'm going to change the interior of my house as well. And I might remove this part and like at another low level make it sea level i thought it would look it was a nice nice touch when people have that when people take the back part of their island completely off and then you have the sea level overview of the sea i thought that would that's really nice when people do that and i'm letting go of the in theme for my house and And here is, um, here is Pecan's house and she has the bakery at the moment and I think I'm going to um, not, like I think I'm going to remove this. I don't know, I don't really like it. Maybe I will make a separate house for another character and then decorate their interior like this so I could have an actual bakery. Um, well, but for the most part I really like the layout of my island I just don't necessarily like how it's decorated or I do like it or I just got a little bit bored but yeah this part is definitely staying I feel like the parts where I was like okay I will just fill the space with something they turned out really bad or I just don't like them anymore so I guess that's a sign not to rush it when you're decorating your island. Each time inspiration will strike. Um, yeah, I'm keeping this part two and then up here is the museum and I want to change the lake. I want to make it bigger. I want to make it wider so that when you're standing here the lake will reach from the entire left of the screen to the right of the screen. There's no, like, no gaps, no land in between, so that it's really big. <laughs> I love that. I don't know if people still make lakes. I really haven't kept up with the trends in the community that well. I was also playing around with the idea of making the, um, museum inaccessible without a letter but yeah I don't know yet um, down here is the train station which I still really like and Pippi's house I really like how this part looks maybe not this flower arrangement here and up here is Deirdre's house. I still like this. I still like having her on the top of the cliff with a lookout over the beach. It's kind of lonely but still but not sad. So I really like this. And here is a big empty spot where I don't know what to put. Um, I kept the... I kept the pumpkins because I like how they look, but mm, I wish that they gave us other vegetables. I was kind of hoping that we would get other vegetables soon too, but it's just pumpkins. Here's another big empty spot and I was thinking of making this flower part even smaller. But currently I still want to have a lot more hybrid flowers and there's just no more efficient way I think to duplicate them. I just really want a lot of hybrids so I guess I'll have to live with this. And my beaches are still not decorated, I just, I just have no idea what to do with them. But also I've kind of grown used to them being barren and empty because that's just how I know my beaches. I have never in my life been to a decorated beach. 
Well, actually, the town where I live, they have like beach cafes. Didn't mean to do that. They have beach cafes and all that, but they just don't appeal to me that much. Here's the secret beach, which I still really like. Um, yeah, that's for the main part how my island looks so far. I guess this is still pretty... There's not a lot of like new things because I haven't played a lot, because I haven't decorated a lot um, since I stopped making videos. But I'm definitely going to start changing a lot now and I'm going to record it and upload it in multiple parts. I'm really looking forward to that. I'm definitely going to change around the painting, like this patchwork path. I was really into it when I first made it, but now I'm over it, I think. Especially for this part and at the entrance, um, the in-game path, and I want to have more designed paths. And I will finally get rid of this one. Although I really like it, um, I think it's really cute, but it served me well for a long time and now it's time for something new. Um, those are my main ideas and I'm really excited to see how I will how I will realize it and actualize it and how it's going to turn out. And I'm excited to be making videos again and thank you so much for sticking around with me, for subscribing to my channel even when I wasn't updating frequently anymore. Um, yeah, while well, I was taking care of myself. I hope you're taking care of yourself too and that you're taking care of others if they need you, if you can. This is a very difficult time for all of us and maybe if you're like me and you're always a bit sensitive and our lives, you know, are just getting started, then it's especially difficult to adjust to such a circumstance and then with a political situations everywhere. It's really hard right now. So I hope you're taking time off, you're taking care of yourself, you are kind to yourself, that you're working as hard as you can and that it's not your fault if um, your workplace or your college or your university or your school is not accommodating. It's not your fault, you know? We're all doing our best. So... Um, again, thank you so much for your support and I will see you next time. Goodbye.